Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I got bought this lino cutting kit for my birthday earlier in the year and I've not got around to using it yet so I thought I'd have a go and what I'm going to make is some Badger Workshop merchandise. I thought I'd have a go at carving my logo. Now that might be a bit ambitious because of all the small lettering. So first I'm going to print out my logo to the size I want then I can get it traced out on some tracing paper and then I can get that rubbed onto the lino and that will invert the image and the letters. So as I was worried about getting the letters cut out, I've done two, one the full logo and one just the paw print. And what I'm gonna do is actually cut out the letters and the paw print on one and cut out all the other material on the other one. So the set comes with a nice set of tools and it also comes with this little support to keep your fingers out the way. So let's get carving. So that's the two designs done, now I've just got to roll out the ink and give them a try. So they've come out pretty rustic, but that's what I want. I have a few CNC'd branding irons and a rubber stamp, but I want something that really looks homemade, and I think these definitely do. But what I think is gonna improve them if I mount them on some wooden blocks, and then I can get a bit more even pressure when printing. So I'm gonna cut some blocks of wood and get them glued on now with some contact adhesive. Now the glue's dried on these, so we can have another go with them. And what I'm gonna print onto is these little pocket notebooks, as I'm a big fan of always having a notebook with me. So what I think I'd do is I'm gonna use both of them. I'm gonna put the, the full Badger logo with the lettering on the front and the paw print on the back.
So the ink's dry on the notepads. Now I want to do some woodworking and make some bookmarks to go in these. So when I've resawed some oak in the past, I've kept all the little thin leftover bits. I'm going to plane them down. Now my planer can only plane bits so thick. So I'm going to have to put this bit of wood in that just allows me to raise it up even higher. Now I can bring these down to the same thickness. So I've got these brought down as thin as I can with the thicknesser. So now I'm going to give them a sand down, rip them down the center, and then get them cross cut into little pieces. So I've got a stack of bits cut, but I want to make the shape a little more interesting. So I'm just going to round over one of the corners. I'm going to draw around one of these beakers and then sand down to my line using the disc sander. I want to add a leather lanyard to these, so I'm going to drill a hole for them and then clean up those holes using a countersinking bit. Now I want to add my logo to these and what I've got is a new branding iron, but this one is electric. I've already used it to make some new bottle openers and these are the rewards that go to my top tier patrons. So now I can get all these bookmarks branded. I'm going to get them all finished with some tongue oil and then when they're dry I can get the leather lanyard put on. So the oil's dried on these, now I want to add a leather lanyard so you can find it in the book. So that's them all done and these bits are going to go up on my website for sale. So if you want to check them out, there's links down below. Now the other thing I've set up is a Teespring store and there should be some links to that down below. Right, you might want to send your wives out the room for this because I'm going to take the apron off. And I've got some great Badger Workshop t-shirts. So as I say, check them out down below. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.